Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, this was requested on my WhatsApp and she asked me to talk about how to tell whether somebody can be trusted and whether they're being genuine. And I feel like this is something that we obviously, a lot of us do struggle with because it's kind of like reading other people's energy. And I think when you lack trust in somebody else, sometimes it can stem from a lack of trust in yourself and your own decision making. And that's something that I have experienced before many, many times. I didn't trust myself. So I didn't trust myself to even pick the right partner or the right friendships and things so it can definitely be a mirror there just for I would throw that out there for you but um how to tell whether somebody else can be trusted I think a lot of it is in observing it's observing not only their words because anyone can say anything but still being aware of what their words are what they like to say a lot of the time but also paying attention to their patterns of behavior so like how do they behave constantly and also not just with you but with their family with their friends with anyone that they interact with paying attention to how they treat people the things that they say, do they slag their friends off? Like what kind of things do you notice about them? Because there will be signs and some of it will be subtle things like them um, talking about other people behind their backs. I think your intuition will tell you instantly to be honest, but sometimes we're not in tune with that. So if you don't trust yourself or your intuition to feel into it, it's about paying attention, it's about observing. And I am kind of an observant person. So I, like if I go into a room with people, I do tend to observe first and be quite quiet and reserved until I feel comfortable enough to speak. I like to just feel out the room kind of thing and see which kind of people are where, you know? So it's a case of taking a step back and paying attention to the way that they speak, what kind of things they say, because that will give you an indication of their belief system and the, like paying attention to what they're interested in and what they value. Literally just asking these kind of questions and then paying attention to their response. So I think it's about knowing someone, but also it's about paying attention to the patterns because obviously you can only know someone to a certain extent. It's the same with everyone. You can only know what they reveal to you. So you have to really pay attention to everything that they reveal to you. And I also feel like when you are doubting it, when you're unsure of whether a particular person is um, trustworthy or not, chances are that's your intuition telling you that they're not. But we also have to be aware of when it's because they've actually done something that's created that response in our intuition and our energetic field is it something that they've actually done that has triggered you into then doubting whether they're uh, trustworthy or not or is it coming from your own trauma and a uh, past wound that you're now projecting on them so you need to be able to discern between whether it's a you problem or whether it's a them problem so you will know the difference based on how they're behaving are they actually doing something that's causing you not to trust them and if the answer is yes do not doubt yourself do not hesitate or question yourself sometimes you just have to blindly listen to that intuition and listen to the fact that you're doubting this for whatever reason like sometimes the reason doesn't even matter it doesn't matter why you're doubting or why you're feeling like they're not trustworthy just go with it and follow it because you might find out later on that it was actually a good thing that you listened to that even though you didn't know why that you listened to that and that you left them be and went on about your own life because our intuition is always telling us things you know and one of the spiritual teachers I guess you could say that I like to watch a lot of her um well she doesn't do that many videos but I did subscribe to her monthly subscription ages and ages ago and I'm not on it anymore but um she's very very good her name's Mariam Hasner and I share a lot of her tweets sometimes but one of the things that she said in a tweet a while ago which really resonated with me and kind of freaked me out a little bit was she said that as soon as her intuition tells her that 
she shouldn't interact with somebody or she shouldn't go somewhere or whatever it may be she instantly follows it even if she has no idea why like if somebody says hi to her and she feels like she shouldn't speak to them she literally follows that and listens to that and doesn't even have a conversation with them even though she doesn't know the person and I just find that so powerful to be that secure in yourself and that like in tune with your whole sensory perception that you'll literally just trust it without question without even knowing who the person is or how they're gonna behave or anything that she just fully trusts that so I think that is also about building self-awareness and um like a connection to yourself to be able to build that kind of trust which is something that I'm working on so when it comes to being able to trust somebody else just to summarize I would say the foundation is to have that level of trust with yourself to be in tune with yourself so much that you can like Mariam has now that you can just trust it instantly and just completely know when somebody's not right for you and the other way as well on top of that is to also pay attention to their behavior pay attention to their patterns pay attention to the things that they say when they talk about themselves when they talk about their life when they talk about people around them their friends and stuff what kind of things are they saying do they talk negatively constantly all of those different things will give you an idea of their belief system so then once you're aware of that you can then for whatever kind of trusting situation you're referring to you can then get an idea of where their mind is at so that you'll have a clearer idea on whether they're trustworthy or not but I do kind of feel like as well that I want to say at the end of this is that we can never really know 100% because you could meet somebody that seems absolutely perfect and they could end up cheating or lying or something, you know? Like, I feel like we can never really know 100% whether somebody is trustworthy. And the only way that we'll find that out is by exploring it or by not exploring it. So you have to discern for yourself whether there's something too toxic and too, like whether the red flags are just too massive for you to ignore and it's a complete no and I don't want you in my life or whether you're willing to just try it and see. And you kind of just have to decide which one of those it is. And there is no wrong answer, you know? Like, you can try it. Yes, you may get hurt, but you'll have learnt a hell of a lot along the way. So, it's just whether you're willing to take that risk. And life is all risk. Because it all feels unknown to us in the moment. Even though it's actually not, because our higher self knows it all. But to us, in our own little human vessel it feels unknown so you have to just trust and you have to take risks so it's really a case of is it worth the risk to you are you willing to try and just see and if the red flags are huge then it should be a no if you're doubting it it should be a no and trust that that no is guiding you to something that's even better so yeah, I definitely recommend that you watch a video about um, building self-confidence and self-esteem as well because I feel like these kind of go hand in hand. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Definitely comment down below if you have any more video suggestions or if you have anything to add. And you can also DM me on Instagram. You can text or WhatsApp me. You can, all my social media will be in the description box below and all links to my music. My clothing jewelry brand is in the description box below as well as links to my website, which has, um, I offer one-to-one -one services of mentorship, coaching. I don't really know what to call it. I call it intuitive guidance where we can just talk about your life. We can talk about whatever problem you're having or if it's to do with building your own business or if it's to do with the chakras, healing trauma, emotional regulation and how to process your emotions. All of those things I will help you with any of them and the link to my website to book those is in the description box below as well as everything else about me i think that's everything i needed to say don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week i really really appreciate you i hope you have the best day and i will see you in the next video bye you could say i love you i can't get enough but i just want you to myself